So, uh, I want to introduce the panelists for us. You guys know everybody. Yes. This is Jill Schroeder of Grey Duck Gallery. This is Kevin Ivester of Ivester Contemporary. And this is Jamie Poole, who is the Artist Liaison and Operations Manager of Laura Reynolds Gallery. And uh, just a little background, um, I love all three of these guys, I love their galleries, there's a lot of great galleries in Austin, but part of the reason why I invited them is because each time I would go visit them, it's come up before where I'm like, hey, how do we turn all this tech money that's pouring into Austin into art collectors, you know, and they're real like, and it just, <laughs> one day just popped in my head, so I should sit them all down and we'll, you know, we talk about it. So. Part of it is uh, each one of you are very different, you have very different personalities, but you do one stellar show after another in your own way. Everybody has your own styles, you have your own programming, you have your own way of approaching things, um, but it's just consistent. And you guys work your ass off, but it's also like the mensch factor with each of you is sort of off the charts, which is related to what gutter blood is about. It's not about who's who and me, 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 which is why it's gutter blood. It's about cool people who love each other and get together and hang out and support each other as a community. So there's artists, there's art, you know, there's art collectors, there's art dealers, there's, it's, it's all art workers, you know, the proletariat of the art force. Um, and uh, just really great people, which is for us the most important thing. Which is why I brought you guys together. Thank you so much. And I'm so glad. I, when they all said they did it, I just about shit my pants. I was like, <laughs> wow, you know, they said yes? Really? You want to do this? you got to be kidding. Anyway, <laughs> so we're doing it. And uh, thanks for being here. Um, this is a big subject. So I just want to point out that um, we're just getting the conversation started. So wherever it goes is wherever it's going to go. The other is if you can hold off on your comments and questions until these guys have a chance to warm up a little bit. And then about halfway through, we'll open it up. Sound, sound good? Oh, sure. Yeah. Sound, sound yeah. good with you? Okay. So, um, I'm going to read out the two primary questions and then I'm going to let you guys go at it. Um, so, the first question is How can a desire and demand for great art, equal in excitement to tech, be cultivated in this town? And how can some of the onrushing cash flow be channeled into an expanded and more vibrant <coughs> art market? The other is, which I think is. Uh, really crucial in a lot of people's minds is the importance of brick and mortar galleries. And I'm going to read something that takes one minute. It's something I put together that's a combination of what um, Christina uh, Reese wrote in the Glass Tire uh, about defending art um, galleries, you know, what they meant to her, and of course Dave Hickey from um, Eric Guitar and I am a Dave Hickey groupie. I have loved him for years. Um, and he also started, of course, the a uh, clean, well-lit place in Austin in the 70s. So if you haven't read Eric Tarr. Anyway, I'm going to read this and we're going to get going. Okay. Galleries, aside from artists, are the most salient risk-takers in the art world. Bolstered only by their sharp eye and keen instincts, they show and advocate for the art they believe in, build social currency face-to-face, -face, and personally put themselves on the line to do it. It's not a day job, it's not safely nested within an institution, institution blah, 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 the winning side, or regulated public opinion. Rather, they're voluntary participants who water the edge and drive the conversation forward. Because in Dave Hickey's words, it's a matter of heart and not policy, a matter of live commitment and not bureaucratic accreditation. Which is part of my honor for you guys, but I, I feel that really strongly. Um, but anyway, 